Hello, welcome back to the Mind Crack server, brought together by extraordinary circumstances. Um, today we're going to be taking a little bit of a diversion from our uh, projects up here in the lands. We're going to make some larger animal pens for pigs and for cows. Um, I think what I'd like to do is to have uh, a larger cow enclosure, maybe... Uh, right at this level and then a pig enclosure right at this level there I think these are basically the same level I'm gonna make them exactly the same level if they're not exactly the same and whoop, um, it's going to be sort of minimalistic carvings out of the rock like the the sheep pen what used to be the uh, the temporary house and I'd like to maybe have some balconies here along this edge this is uh, maybe where the cow pen will be so it'll, I'm gonna hollow all this out and maybe have a, a balcony here you can look out at sort of my back door there's a there's a jungle biome over there I guess you can't see it on the multiplayer server because of the uh, the draw distance uh, whatever good has the setting at eight chunks or ten chunks or whatever so anyway um, we are gonna pattern it after the sheep pens down here Oh, that's not where I meant to go. And so I, I'm doing this today because I'm sick of only having a few animals at a time. There's only so many you can breed in this space before it just gets too hard to get in here to uh, to harvest them or to breed them further. I really like this design, which I took from Nevers's base. I like this design much better. Um, and another problem is that uh, every time you log in there's a chance that animals may glitch through walls. So if you notice, I don't even have any cows in here anymore because I've lost them all through glitching through walls. One of them is over here. Hi, hi cow. Uh, the others, I have no idea. They're all dead. So I'm actually gonna have to go out to the wilderness to find a, a new cow for the new cow enclosure. But we're going to do it in this basic style. Um, I think I was toying at one point with uh, putting a wood floor in here. I think I'm going to revert that change. I'm also going to clean up some of uh, some of the paintings in here. I think I'm going to smooth off this ceiling. Because this original thing that goes around the ceiling was to reflect the hallways from the original sheep pen when I had every color in its own cage. and. Uh, that just turned out not to be very practical, so I'm probably going to smooth that out eventually. Maybe not in this video. And remove some more paintings. Um, let's see, what is our entities at? We are at 1,700. Yeah, that's that's way too many. So, um, But first, we need to uh, work on making some pens. So let's get over there. I do have a ladder up. I have ender eyeballs, so I don't really need ladders. And I think we'll start on well, what I assume, what I think is going to be the cow one up here. Let's just screw the lattice. <laughs> Let's just do this. Um, did I go up too high or not high enough? Let's, uh, oh, whoops. Let's do it this. Oh, that's <laughs> not enough of an arc. Okay, now I'm lower. That's no good. Oh, fuck, I may die. I may die. Nope, I'm in a tree. I'm in a tree! And I do not have my feather falling boots on, so I need to be careful. Uh, where is the shelf? Oh, the shelf is right there. I, I went up too high. Yeah, and eventually, uh, this ladder was uh, <laughs> a little temporary. I'll eventually need some sort of permanent way to get up here. So this is uh, the level I would like to make it at. Let's see, this is... We're at 97.6 right here. On this side, we're at 98. And how thick is this base? So we can, okay, this is thin enough that, or thick enough that we can just uh, make this one the exact same level as this. Um, I originally wanted to center the animal pens based on this water line so that um, the room would be centered here so if it went out five blocks this way it'd go five blocks that way but I don't think that's really very realistic just 
because of the shape of the geography. It doesn't go very far in this direction. It goes really far in this direction. Same on this side. So I will center the entrance uh, on the water spout so that if you're falling down the water spout and you uh, down this hole and you uh, you sort of drift into the water to slow yourself down, you can enter eyeball to either side conveniently. But other than that, um, I'm going to take most of my cues from the actual shape of the land. Uh, people, some people suggested that they think I should um, put animal pens up there, up in the lens. And I could do that with uh, rail lines, but I don't want to uh, <laughs> because I don't want to constantly be hearing animals like mooing and, whoa, oinking. If, if I don't have to. So I only want to hear them when absolutely necessary. Uh, first thing we should do is, let's see, where it's, I think this line right here. Yeah, I think this is the center that the water shaft is falling down. So let's, uh, let's mark up the land to signify that. And then I'm just going to start carving out. And I'll probably do most of this off camera. Actually, you know what? I've never done... Oh, here's another thing. I should probably go get my fortune pick for coal. I stopped really paying much attention to coal some time ago because of uh, I just had so much of it, more than I really ever had a use for. But, in the uh, 1.3 patch, you'll be able to trade coal to villagers for emeralds. And, actually, it's quicker if I just go down and use the log elevator. So, I'm going to start harvesting all the coal I have and just stockpile it until 1.3, and I can uh, start trading it for emeralds. Um, so, let's go get a fortune pick. And, I've never done a time-lapse video. Okay, let's get up there. So I think for this video, I will do a time lapse video, and what I'll do is I'll just um, I'll have a, like a, a small part of the screen be the time lapse video, fast forwarding through, and then uh, the main screen I'll have all the updates when I do anything significant. What did I come up here for? I've already forgotten my pickaxe. That's right. Yeah, this guy isn't gonna last too much longer. And you know what, while I'm here, I should probably get some boxes to store. <laughs> yeah, guess guess what these are left over from. Um, I should probably get a bunch of boxes to store uh, all, the, all the materials I'm going to be digging out of the earth. Paintings. Yeah, okay, okay, that's good enough. Um, and if I need more picks or whatever, I'll come back up for that. Yep, okay, that should be good. Let's go. hey -o. And I will illustrate exactly what I was just talking about. With the ender eyeballs. There we go. Okay, so commence uh, rapid fire <laughs> time lapse. Go! Okay, first update. Uh, done a good amount of clearing out. Let's see where let's go back to where we started over here and empty out my inventory of Miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so um, Here's gonna be the main place where you come in um, The only entrance I plan to have easily accessible. I'm gonna this ladder is gonna go bye-bye So I cleared out some area here trying to find out um, sort of what sort of space was available to me based on the uh, geography of the landscape and I've outlined where I plan to put the actual uh, uh, the, the cow pen this one's gonna be the cow pen which will be lowered down a few blocks and then there'll be a walkway to either side and we're a little bit limited by um, the geography, but that's okay because limitations lead to good solutions and interesting problems. So I, um, I first thing I did is I dug around to try and see the limits of where things were. Let me put this there. Ran into the temporary house here. Uh, busted through the wall into the outside here. 
and also busted through there and there and uh, also the log out of Vader ladder is right here which is a temporary thing and when 1.3 comes out I'll be able to get rid of it because I think log out of are getting broken anyway and I'll be able to link a portal up there which um, will be quicker than going up a ladder to go into the portal down here and then come out up there anyway um, so there's gonna be a two block border around the recessed uh, the, the dropped um, cow pen, which is going to be a few levels down like that. So this is going to be where it drops, and then there will be a two block border, and then this is just a note to myself to repair this wall with smooth stone here. And also here, um, because I'm right next to this wall here, so I can't go too much farther that way anyway if I want to have a more or less square uh, room. I'm going to repair this here, right here and fill all this back in with smooth stone so that this area is just it's like a very square cutout of the mountainside. Um, I want to preserve as much of the natural geography as possible. Oh, by the way, I don't think I've ever talked about this or showed this in a video, probably because I'm so ashamed of how ugly it is. This is the back of the sheep pen. And yep, I definitely went beyond the boundaries of uh, the geography. In this case, I still need to make this look like a natural landscape. I'm going to cover it with dirt that slopes gently down to the beach eventually. Um, but I'm going to probably extend this like this so that this edge is, is uh, square. So that there's a two block uh, border on all sides. I'm going to fill this back in. But I think that's a that's a good size. That'll give me enough cows in this area with torches inside it. Um, okay, next uh, let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's get some boxes and take them over there. Like that. And we are going to be working on this level right here. Alright, so uh, at this point I'll, uh, I'll give you another update when I've cleared out this area. Okay, and here is the other side. I guess the pigs will be on this side. Um, here's the center line, quote unquote. It's not an actual center line for the room, but centered on the, this water shaft where the entrance will, I guess, eventually be centered. I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit of something here. Um, ran into a hole here, which I think I'm going to build over with smooth stone and then put some dirt around the outside to make it look natural. So once again the the recessed area where the pigs are going to be are outlined in torches. Over here we've broken through to a nice view and this little this little lagoon over here which I don't really get much of a view of. Uh, over on, I spend most of my time over on this side but this is a nice little view here and then the big square opening uh, viewing of this landscape is on this side. We've got a natural cliff and a skelly right there. Uh, there's a natural cliff right here. The land slopes down here. I'm going to uh, resurface this landscape a bit so that uh, the main thing I'm worried about is creepers walking up into here and blowing stuff up. Um, I'm not worried about the occasional spider climbing up a, uh, a too high ledge, but I'm going to resurface this a bit. So um, just like the other side, there's going to be a walkway that's two blocks wide all the way around the animal pen with some uh, some nice landscape views on either side. And I'm probably going to build this out to there um, with stone, though, and then put dirt on top again to... To, to mimic uh, the landscape here. Um, but it's going to have some reshaping. I'm going to need to cook up a bunch of smooth stone. But before I worry about the smooth stone, what I'm going to do next is raise the roof on both sides. Uh, raise the roof on both sides to four or five blocks tall. And then dig out the pit and uh, resurface everything in smooth stone. So let's uh, let's get back to this side over here. Hey -oh. All right. Okay, and all of the uh, the ceilings have been raised to four block high. What I need to do now is take a bunch of stone up to the furnace shutter up there. Let me go ahead and drop off 
stuff I don't need. Uh, take a bunch of stone up there and cook it. Jesse, we need to cook. Let's see, that's 27, 28. I have 32 um, furnaces. Uh, let me keep those. Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Um, okay, my food is full. I shouldn't need it. 32. So then we just need to get uh, up to the lens and cook this stuff. While I'm going up, um, I think it might be worth mentioning that I said a little while ago I wanted a like a map to play that uh, would be sort of short to medium length survival type. And I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. And I think what I end up doing will probably surprise some people. But I think it's going to be interesting. It is going to be... Um, I, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit vague until I start doing it, but it should be within the next week and a half, maybe. Um, something something fun, something I've been wanting to try out for a while. And finally, going to... Damn it, I missed. Ah, frig. Um, well, it looks like we'll be writing this up. So, yeah, I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. And look for that in the near future, and it may take me, I may not finish it before Inferno Mines comes out, the next super hostile I've been waiting for. Um, but if that comes out before I finish this secret thing I'm talking about, then um, I will start that immediately when I get access to it. And for a little while there will be uh, like three Minecraft, or Minecraft series that I'll be working on. Uh, once I get access to Inferno Mines, I am going to be working on that uh, as sort of a priority, at least until I get it up and rolling. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to cook a bunch of stone and smooth out the chambers downstairs, and then I will give you another update. Okay, I think I'm done with everything I'm going to get done this episode. I, uh... Did the majority of the makeover for this area. The torches are going to go bye-bye in the future. I'm probably going to put some glowstone lamps in the wall somewhere, or maybe in the ceiling. There are some patches of darkness where monsters can spawn here. Um, but we're not going to move the cows in right away anyway. We're going to... Um, we'll do that later. Uh, once we finish this area off totally. And we have to do basically the same thing over there. It's a slightly different shape, but it's uh, the same idea. All the same little construction details and whatnot. We have this nice view out the back window here. Uh, whatever. back Quote unquote back window. Rear window. So anyway, um, that's that. Uh, <laughs> this uh, project started. Got a pretty good amount of um, pro uh, progress done today. So anyway, next time. I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm trying to bounce around between different parts of the lens. So that you're not always seeing the same thing. Next time we may go back to the wheat farm or uh, finishing up the melon farm. Something like that. And then we'll come back to this in a, a video in the future at some point. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.